All right? But now, think about the steady state properties of this model. What is the steady state going to look like? How do we find the steady state? We just set k dot equal to 0. And the steady state is going to be, what's the integral of this thing in a steady state? Well, that's a constant. So what's the integral of e to the minus r t tau minus t from t to infinity? That's just 1 over r. So we're going to get p on the left-hand side equals 1 over r v prime. And that's just the steady state v prime, right? Minus delta p. So v prime equals r p plus delta p equals r plus delta p. Which is, of course, saying in the long run, there's a perfectly elastic supply of capital. And that's the big difference with the other model that I put on the board. Right? The big difference with the other model is this model now, even though it has short run upward sloping supply of capital, has long run perfectly elastic supply of capital. Be and why? What's the difference? There's a sleight of hand in this model that is interesting. What's the difference? Yeah. Yeah, but why? Yeah, the first one had a rising supply of gross investment, whereas this one has a rising supply of only net investment. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is, it's a different, it's, but it's an interesting question. Why would there be a rising supply price of net investment but not gross investment, right? It's some, I, they're, they're, you know, you can build models, more fundamental underlying models that will generate this. But that's the real structural difference. The real difference is one says, if you want to invest more in capital, I don't care if you're going to do it forever or you're going to do it short run, you have rising supply. This model says, no, only in the short run is there rising supply price of investment. In the long run, if I really want to always invest that much more, I can do it at constant cost. All right? People understand how that works? So that's the difference between this adjustment cost model. And sometimes people talk about it. I think the terms people use is internal adjustment cost, external adjustment cost. But the real economics is really about that whole question. Is I have a rising supply of net investment or a rising supply price of gross investment? That's really the difference between the two models. The first model had a rising supply price of gross investment. So if I wanted to invest more temporarily or permanently, it was going to cost more. This one has a rising supply price only of net investment. The adjustment costs are a function of k dot, not k dot plus delta k. But the dynamics of these two models look very, very similar because they both have this rising supply of k dot. If you want to increase k dot, you have to, you know, it's, it's better to do it slowly. You have lower total costs of doing it slowly. 